I love America and I love Americans. First time I ever went to the States, 1979, I went for three weeks. I stayed six years, I loved it so much. Every subsequent trip I go over there, I always stay longer than what I planned for originally. I love it and I love Americans. I love the story of the little old American couple who came over to the UK to discover their roots and they ended up in a place on the east coast of England called Norwich. Ah, Norfolk, right? And this little old couple, they had got to the village church and they, they had actually found the gravestones of some of their ancestors. They were taking notes, they were enthralled that they had tracked their roots back to ye olde Norwich. But anyway, as they were there, they heard a noise out the back. They made their way through the undergrowth and through some shrubbery, and they came out onto a railway track. And there was this massive great steam train there that had been refurbished by a band of enthusiasts. And there was steam coming out, and there were oil and water dripping on the track, and it didn't look like it was ever going to go anywhere. And the little old couple were looking at it. They'd never seen a steam train like this in their lives. And the little old lady said to the guy, what do you think, honey? And he looked at it and he poo-pooed it. He said, it'll never start. It'll never start. But he didn't know these enthusiasts, there were two of them on the train. There was one fireman stoking up the boiler, putting on piles and piles of coal, building up the head of steam. And the engineer was dialing up all of the gauges and the engineer wiping the sweat off his brow, tons and tons of coal. And he was getting up a massive head of steam this was going on the American couple were looking at it and suddenly the head of steam absolutely came alive and this massive 200 ton train came to life the steam whistle blew off suddenly there's massive flywheels flying pistons back and forth the whole thing came to life and this little old American couple jumped back off the track I mean it was just awesome and the little old lady said to the guy, what do you think now, honey? And he said, it'll never stop. It'll never stop. Now, the reason why I tell you this story, you see, is when you start on this mind power of the meditation, the visualizations and the affirmations and trying to get that billion dollar biocomputer come to life and deliver you million dollar ideas, epiphanies, solutions to problems, eureka, eurekas, you think it's never going to start. But the truth is, if you just keep at it and sh doing the things that I'm going to be sharing with you, what happens is it'll never stop. So in the early days, you think nothing's happening. And that's when most people give up. Stick with me and you'll get that billion dollar biocomputer, the two hemispheres working together, the words and the pictures communicating with each other via the corpus callosum. It'll never stop. You'll come up with solutions, million dollar ideas, epiphany moment. Your life will change. You will move onward and upward. You will attain sustained success with my help and I'm gonna hold your hand every step of the way. It'll never stop. You'll never go backwards. You'll never look backwards. It is fantastic. I've created a video especially for you. It's in the link below there. Go there now. Watch it all the way through. It's full of gems and the big gems are at the end of the video. So don't skip anything. Gem after gem after gem from me to you. Ronji Holland signing out. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Thank you.